Here's one for you. There's a guy in Texas, Alex, Alex Jones. He's been talking about the deep state for years. A lot of pe people know who he is. When Donald Trump comes along and starts talking about the deep state, all of a sudden they want to shut Alex Jones down. Was that just a coincidence? Or were they getting a little bit too close? And it was okay to have one guy talking about that subject, but not another. What they didn't count on was that spawning into more people asking questions. And even more people Sounding like Alex Jones. So what's their response? They gonna shut all of us up? Well, what we're experiencing as a country I've seen before. A repair needs to be done. And there's somebody running it. Or at least was in charge of the machinery that has no freaking clue as to what they're doing. As an example, we are on the brink of what can only be described as global thermal nuclear war. That's not an issue. Something doesn't need to be done about that. It's not priority number one. Well, how could that be? Unless the people who are running the show don't have a damn clue as to what they're doing. So let's get our shit together here. Because global thermal nuclear war isn't really necessary. At least why it's not in my opinion. It should be obvious to the American people by now that we need somebody who's been under the hood before and knows what to do, which screws to turn and what ones not to. And who's the only candidate in the upcoming presidency that's proven they can do just that. <laughs> certainly isn't Joe Biden. I don't know how many of you out there might have tuned into The Apprentice while it was going on, but this is like The Apprentice on steroids. I can see him behind the scenes wargaming all of this out before 2016. Exactly what they wanted to do, where they wanted to take them, how they wanted to, wanted this to go, and what they wanted the American public to see, so that we'd be on his side when it finally all went down. That's what I see. At least, was that's what I hope. Because if we don't have anybody on our side, we're screwed. I guess the biggest thing I should stress is treason has been committed and the people who have committed it will do ev 
anything and everything, including starting a world conflict, in order not to get caught. And the people who have committed it have, over time, gotten a whole bunch of people on their side who have no idea of who they're actually supporting. For the most part, the public still doesn't believe it. That's why we had to be shown instead of told. So get ready, because there's got to be more coming. I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall when a reoccurring discussion kept happening throughout the whole planning phase. How do we show everybody what's actually going on and how this works without getting everyone killed? Let's hope they accounted for that. Or this could get real interesting. The rest of us, all we can do is follow along with this effed up repair and hope we can figure it out as we go.